A very good morning to all. I am Dr. Anupam Bharadwaj from the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. Today I am going to discuss the topic syncope. The topic which we will cover under syncope are definition, the synonym that is the other name of syncope, then predisposing factor, its classification, its pathophysiology, its clinical manifestation and its management and treatment. So syncope, first we should know that syncope is a symptom and not a disease. By definition, it is sudden and transient loss of consciousness due to decreased cerebral blood flow. It is derived from the Greek word which is to interrupt. Now, the other name for syncope, that is syncope is synonymous with, it can also be called atrial bradycardia, benign faint, neurogenic syncope, psychogenic syncope, simple faint, soon vasodepression syncope as well as vasovagal syncope. Now, the various predisposing factors are they can be broadly classified into two, that is the psychogenic factor and non-psychogenic factor. The psychogenic factor for syncope are fright, anxiety, emotional stress, any unwanted or unwelcome news, pain which can be sudden and unexpected, and sight of blood or surgical sight or from dental instrument. These factors are psychogenic factors. The non-psychogenic factor are sitting in an upright position or standing, hunger, exhaustion, poor physical condition, hot, humid or crowded environment along with the differentiation in sex. Now, the syncope can be classified into neurally mediated, cardiac arrhythmias, orthostatic, cerebrovascular as well as structure and cardiopulmonary disease. These are the classification of the syncope. Now, the Pathophysiology of so first we will talk about clinical manifestation. In clinical manifestation, syncope can be divided into three parts that is pre-syncope, syncope, as well as post-syncope. Now the there are symptoms in the pre-syncope are divided into early symptom and the late symptom. Early symptom of pre-syncope are feeling of warmth, loss of color, grey skin tone, heavy perspiration, nausea, as well as tachycardia. The blood pressure is not much raised, it is at the baseline. In the late symptom of pre-syncope, there is pupillary dilatation, yawning, hyperapnea, hypotension, bradycardia, visual disturbance along with dizziness and the loss of consciousness in C. Now, in syncope, after pre-syncope, we come to syncope. In syncope, the breathing is irregular, jerky along with gasping is present. Pupil of the patient dilated and Patient take a death-like appearance. Bradycardia along with weak pulse is seen and there is sudden decrease in the blood pressure. Now in post syncope there is pallor, nausea, weakness, sweating which can last from few minutes to many hours. There is a mental confusion is seen in the patient along with disorientation. Blood pressure as well as heart rate are normal in the post syncope and tendency of second attack is present if patient is allowed to sit or stand too soon after the syncope period. Now, we are going to talk about the pathophysiology of the syncope which is very important. The pathophysiology of syncope start that with the sight or unwanted sight or unexpected pain, patient goes into stress. The stress lead to the release of catecholamine in the body. The release of catecholamine changes the tissue, tissue perfusion and decrease the total peripheral vascular resistance and increase blood flow. This decreased peripheral vascular resistance leads to peripheral pooling of the blood. The peripheral pooling of the blood is mainly happened or done in extremities. Due to the peripheral pooling, there is decrease in the circulatory volume along with the decrease in cerebral blood flow, which causes syncope. In the syncope, there is decreasing blood pressure and the compensatory mechanisms are activated. A most important role is in taking family history also, which can explain the chances of syncope is more in the patient which has a family history of sudden and unexplained death, along with a deafness. In the family history, arrhythmia, congenital heart disease and seizures along with metabolic disorder and myocardial infection at a very young age. Now, what can we do to prevent the syncope? 
to prevent syncope, patient should always be put in laying down position. In pre-syncope phase, the procedure should be stopped. Patient should be placed in the supine position with legs slightly elevated. Now we can assess the patient and we can go for treatment which can be said as P A B C D. P stands for positioning the patient. Patient should always be placed in the supine position with legs slightly elevated. The brain and the heart of the patient should be at the same line and legs should be elevated so that the peripheral pooling of the blood can be decreased and the blood can be introduced into the circulation again. In airway, we can assess the airway of the patient. If the patient is not fainted, that is in pre synco period, we can ask the patient if he is not having any problem in breathing. And airway management can be done by the use of ammonia inhalants. Ammonia inhalants can be placed below the nostrils of the patient. The pungent and harsh hard smell of ammonia activate the respiratory center and the patient can breathe. Now for assessing the circulation, we have to measure the heart rate along with the blood pressure. The decrease in blood pressure is seen in the syncope phase which can be elevated by giving adrenaline or the circulation and heart rate can be increased if the patient is placed in the supine position with the leg elevated. So step wise now we can discuss it in the syncope phase, first we should assess the patient consciousness. And if we are seeing that the patient is going to the syncope, then we will call for the assistant. Then we will position the patient and the patient should be placed in the supine position. We would assess an open airway, assess airway potency and breathing, and then we will assess for then we will assess for the circulation. The circulation and heart rate can be increased by administration of adrenaline if the patient is going into syncope, but 90% of the patient recover and the patient is placed in the supine position with the legs slightly elevated. Syncope is the most common medical emergency that we encounter and it is most easily manageable if detected on the time. If the patient continues to remain unconscious then you should summon medical assistance immediately. Now we should administer oxygen and monitor vital sign and provide definitive management. In the definite management, we can start the CPR and the definite management along with the CPR, we should look for the loosening of the cloth. Respiratory stimulant can be given such as aromatic ammonia, cold towels on patient head, patient forehead, they can be placed along with the blanket. If bradycardia persists, then anticholinergics such as atropine can be administered. Atropine is administered 0.5 mg and it can be given up to a maximum dose of 3 mg. Now, the most accepted chart of vasodilators syncope say that we should assess consciousness, then we should activate office emergency team and the patient should be placed in a supine position with feet slightly elevated. Oh, airway should be accessed and seen and airway potency should be maintained along with the circulation if necessary, the emergency medical system should be activated along with the administration of oxygen and monitoring of vital signs. If patient is still unconscious, then we can provide definitive treatment such as aromatic ammonia can be given along with the atropine and we should maintain the composure. Now, the various precautions which can be seen are controlling the predisposing factor. Before the patient enters the treatment area, it should be made certain that the patient had eaten recently. A comfortable environment, temperature and humidity in the office should be seen. Stress reduction modalities can be employed. Sedation should be available through a variety of drugs and patient anxiety should be re reduced. Proper positioning and receive supplemental oxygen should also be there. Treatment. Immediately stop any dental treatment going on and lose the tighten cloth. Place the patient in head low position with lower limb elevated. Monitor of the pulse. If pulse is, pulse is normal, then sprinkle cold water. Carry a gauze dipped in aromatic spirit of ammonia close to the patient nostril. If bradycardia is there, then the injection of atropine or mephentronine can be given. If patient is still not responding, 
then support respiration and start oxygen along with the CPR. Now we come to a conclusion. Syncope is a common symptom often with dramatic consequences which deserve thorough investigation and appropriate treatment of its cause. There are many causes of syncope. Be vigilant in ruling out the life-threatening one. Use the ultrasound machine. Take into account the risk of hospitalization. Syncope is such a common medical emergency that in during the World War II, around 25,000 soldiers who donated the blood have syncope, but all of them recover uneventfully. Thank you.